Dr. Raghuram Rajan recently said that India is now again dangerously close to the Hindu rate of growth. I don't want to comment on what Dr. Raghuram Rajan has said and whether we are getting closer to a Hindu rate of growth or not. But instead, I wish to talk about the history and how the term Hindu rate of growth came into being. First of all, let's understand some facts and then we'll come to the idea of Hindu rate of growth and how the term was coined. The term was coined by Indian economist Raj Krishna. There were a lot of liberal economists in India after 1950s, including Vikas Mishra, Raj Krishna and various others. And they were the first ones to use the name Hindu rate of growth to imply the low rate of growth of around 3.5% from 1950s to 80s, as well as the low per capita income growth, which averaged around 1.3 to 1.5%. So why did they use the term Hindu rate of growth? There are various arguments around it, various interpretations around it. That is what forms the core, the importance of this discussion, this small audio today. The first one says that the Hindu outlook of fatalism and contentedness, whereas uh, we mean that the Hindus or Hinduism as a philosophy, as a religion, dependent upon destiny as the decider of your future was the one which resulted in a Hindu rate of growth and therefore the term Hindu rate of growth because this outlook of contentedness, this outlook of dependence on destiny was responsible for the slow growth according to some economists or according to some liberal scientists. There is another interpretation which says that it has nothing to do with the word Hindu or the term religion. It is directly connected with Indian government's protectionist and interventionist policies. Therefore, Instead of using the term Hindu rate of growth, another set of argumentation says that we should instead be using Nehruvian rate of growth. Now, it's very interesting that the term was actually popularized by an American named as Robert Strange McNamara. And therefore, I personally feel that the term Hindu rate of growth can be changed to something else. Now, what can be the something else? That, that can replace the word Hindu rate of growth because I don't think getting religion into uh, economics is a wise idea because then there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, reflex from people around the country who do not want the term Hindu or the religion Hindu to be connected with anything derogatory or anything bad that has happened in the economy in the past and is happening again. So what can be the alternative term that can be used? I don't think Nehruvian rate of growth is again a wise term because you cannot say that Nehru was responsible directly for the low rate of growth. Instead, there is another term called as dirigism. Now dirigism comes from a French word which is an economic doctrine just like capitalism, socialism, communism and this economic doctrine says that the state plays a strong directive role in deciding what happens in the economy and in moving the economy in a certain direction. Now India followed an indicative planning model wherein the state directed investment, the state decided where the money should go and the state also directed the market because of the failures of the market in the past. It at the same time also used various market instruments like taxes, subsidies to incentivize, not only to control, to incentivize market entities so as to fulfill various economic objectives of the state. So it basically means a mixed economy model to simplify it for you. So that is what is dirigism. There are various argue, arguments and various economists who say that dirigism was instead possible, responsible for India's low rate of growth at that time period. And they say that with such conviction because 
when we compare India's rate of growth with countries like South Korea and Taiwan, who achieved independence at almost the same time period, we see that these countries followed a capitalist economic model, economic doctrine, and they have been able to move from a developing or an underdeveloped economy to a developed economy, whereas India has not been able to do the same. And therefore, they say that dirigism is responsible. Now, there are arguments around this as well, counter arguments which say that these countries were able to do it because they had a different set of population structure, a different set of historical, cultural, religious structure. And they, they were supported very heavily by the US in its uh, target of controlling the spread of communism in this part of the world. The same kind of aid was not provided to India. But having kept these arguments or counter arguments aside, I believe dirigism or mixed economic model is uh, can be held more responsible or more contributing to the low rate of growth rather than the word Hindu or the outlook of fatalism and contentedness, destiny or slow rate of growth because of Nehru and his policies. So this was about the history and evolution of the term Hindu rate of growth, how and what it means and whether we can and should be using it or not. It's per it's, it's just my opinion about the same. You can have a different opinion about the same as well. I hope the term Hindu rate of growth is more clear now with this uh, audio file where I didn't do, wanted to explain to you what exactly is this rate of growth and why is it in news again. If you like this audio, do not forget to hit the like button and I'll see you again in another audio very, very soon. If you want to see more of my content, you can also visit my YouTube channel by the name of Anuj Chindal. There's another YouTube channel especially for UPSC aspirants by the name of UPSC by Anuj Chindal. I'll see you very, very soon again. Till then, keep studying. All the best. Bye-bye.